If you've ever been to a gaming event, you know how crazy they can be. Now imagine being a pro player on the stage with cameras in their face, high energy fans, millions of dollars on the line. Development for the pro line starts with the eSports Pro. We took the actual needs of the pro gamers when they're playing on stage and put them into the pro keyboard. We've worked really closely with Cloud9 and TSM to get a lot of information on exactly what they need to win their game. When we give our pros the opportunity to choose, they come back and tell us that the Romer G switch is their preferred switch. We've gone with the Romer G because it is more durable than the competitors, and they are also faster than standard mechanical switches. The standard switches, they have the only one their contact point, and on the Romer G, we have two contact points. We test Romer Gs with 13 times per second for the two and a half months to achieve 70 million life. I'm extremely confident using Romer G switches. I've seen what's gone into them. I've seen the work they've put into designing them. We also added things like our faster keystroke processing. Keystroke signal processing, or KSP, is the process that happens between the moment you have an electrical signal of the switch, which actually corresponds to the actuation of that switch, and the moment that signal is being sent to the computer through USB. Any tiny thing can make a difference. It can just be the keyboard reacting slightly faster, or maybe having slightly lower like latency. My team and I, we spent a significant amount of time in redesigning our KSP algorithm. And as a result, we can get up to 10 milliseconds faster than our competition today in terms of response time. The Romer G keys are the fastest keys made right now. I don't think there's like a faster keyboard I've used to date. When you're traveling 150 days a year, having a small, compact, lightweight piece of gear that still satisfies the requirements of a pro gamer is super important. If you shorten the keyboard and remove the 10 key because Let's face it, they're not doing many spreadsheets when they're up on stage. You can get a lot more comfortable of a situation for the pros to be playing with. I almost have it symmetrical with the, the monitor and the mouse pad. It just feels really natural. It wasn't just about taking GA10 and cutting off the 10 key. We also did things like the detachable cable, which makes it easier to set up and tear down and also makes it much more durable for traveling. Additionally, we looked at things like the onboard memory for lighting colors. We like to have fun with the colors on our keyboards. That turns we get pretty patriotic. We like to do red, white, and blue. The G Pro gaming keyboard's onboard lighting memory makes it much easier for a pro at a tournament because they can simply plug in, hotkey their favorite lighting setup, and they're good to go. Getting more time for warm up and just being able to plug in the keyboard and have your settings is pretty crucial, especially at competitions. It really takes the best effort from each discipline, right, to, to really deliver yeah. a product that everyone would want and everybody would love. We all have to work together you know, to, to get to the yeah. same common goal. You know, a keyboard looks pretty simple, it's, but it's amazing how many parts have to go into it and how much effort has to happen to, to make the right product for price. We want them to have the competitive advantage that gear without distractions can give you, so all they have to focus on is winning. Using the Logitech G Pro products have furthered my quest to master the calisthenics of gaming.